Hi everyone, how are you? This video will give you two techniques to immediately help you make better decisions and overcome the decision traps. Let's start with a quote. People exercise an unconscious selection in being influenced. Your brain is more powerful than the world's most powerful supercomputer. Researchers say that a supercomputer could take millions of RAM, hundreds of core processors and 45 minutes to simulate just one second of thinking of a brain. Despite the unbelievable capacity of a brain, why does the brain make so many systematic errors? All of us have inherent thinking errors known as cognitive biases. It is a fancy term used when you deviate from rational thinking. We have cognitive bias because our brain tries to simplify the complicated inputs we get from our environment all the time. In a way, it's a good thing because it helps us to act fast. However, it also leads to bad decisions, judgments and illogical decisions. Let me go online and show you an exciting piece of research regarding organ donation and what we can learn from it. A misleading chart on organ donation rates. The graph shows the percentage of people willing to donate their organs after death. I want to draw your attention to the chart on the left. Look at the massive difference between the countries on the right. The culture of all these countries is very similar. What do you think is the reason? What's going on here? The discrepancy and enormous difference are due to how organ donation forms are designed. The countries on the left side are given a form with an opt-in option which means explicit consent if they want to donate organs. In contrast, the countries on the right are given a form with an opt-out option which means presumed consent to donate organs. In either case, people tend to choose the default option presented to them. People tend to choose the default option presented to them. Why? People think they are making a deliberate choice but unconsciously they choose the default option because it makes them more comfortable. This is known as the default effect. Whether you call this manipulation or trick or what terms and conditions are used to sign up is beyond the scope of this video. I'm trying to highlight an interesting human behavior that emerges from this research to help us understand how we make decisions. It is just one of the ways cognitive biases affect our decisions. Marketers and salespeople are expert in presenting information in a way that can trick our minds. It is impossible to get rid of your cognitive biases. It is hardwired in your brain to navigate the world of choices. By being aware of how cognitive biases play up, you can reduce the impact of biases in your judgment and decisions. If you find value in this video, consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. It encourages me to make more videos. Let's look at another example of cognitive bias called anchoring bias. It means how the initial piece of information influences our decision. I want to give you two scenarios and encourage you to think about them. Situation 1. You are looking for a new suit for an upcoming interview and find a nice one worth $600. You try it, look in the mirror and think whether to buy it or not. At that point, the salesperson walks in and says, I'm sorry, we forgot to put the discount tag. This suit is for $400. Situation 2. You're looking for a new suit 
for an upcoming interview and find an excellent suit for $200. The salesperson walks up to you, apologizes for the wrong tag and says the suit is for $400. Like most people, you will be more inclined to buy the suit in the first scenario and would have a tough time making up your mind in the second scenario. But why do you have a tough time in believing in the second scenario? The price is the same in both situations. Psychologists call this the anchoring bias. When you have the reference point or the anchor, you will use that as a baseline. If the initial price is higher, you think you are getting a good deal and vice versa. That's why you will see retailers often present the old price tag with the discounted price to appeal to your senses and influence you to make a decision quickly. Car salespeople are famous for showing you the high-end models first so that the base models don't look expensive to you at all. Haven't you seen the purchase quantity limit per customer in some stores? That's again an anchoring technique. The number acts as an anchor that makes you buy more than you intended. Anchoring happens every day in your life in some form or fashion only if you pay attention. I'm sure now you can appreciate that anchoring bias has a considerable influence on your decision making process. Be aware of the biases as you make judgments and draw conclusions before deciding. If you haven't watched the video on frames, I encourage you to watch it and learn how to draw boundaries around your problems. Look for the link on the top. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends. Thanks for watching and bye for now.